Adam Schefter talking about Jimmy Garoppolo news. He went on NFL Live yesterday and just, I mean, he blew my mind with the things he was saying. He said so many wild things. I'm breaking it up into like four different topics. All and right. he did it in like 90 seconds. So the first thing he said is with a straight face. I'm going to put the little banner up because it's it, this is important. With a straight face, he said he didn't think the Niners realized how good Jimmy Garoppolo played last season until they watched the film. That, that's uh, it's a reaction. Uh, hilarious. Um, y- you know, these are professional football teams. Yeah. So their whole job is football. After uh-huh. every game, they review the tape. They've watched film. Um, beyond that, they know who Jimmy Garoppolo is. There's no new revelations they're going to get in the fourth or fifth year watching him play, particularly in this year. Uh, not one of his better years, in, in my opinion. Uh, so this is hilarious at best. It's uh, Schefter talking, giving talking points to 49ers, want him to give it out. Because if you look at the timing, the timing is is the funniest part about it. First of all, he's going to be start starting to throw again very mm-hmm. soon. So he'll be eligible to trade. Um, it's also coming off of a lot of negative publicity coming from Jimmy's old teammates on the Patriots. So in my opinion, what this is, is a last ditch effort to see if they can trade Jimmy. Uh, and they're doing, they're pulling out all the stops, calling Schefter, uh, trying to get them, him to do a little PR for them. And, uh, it's, it's hilarious. It's, uh, I think the thing that just kind of blows my mind more than anything is who are they fooling? Like, who do they think they're fooling? I, 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 I would understand. I think some maybe um, Jimmy fans might be fooled a little bit by this, but is another NFL team really going to be fooled by this statement? It just kind of blows my mind. Yeah, and what you said again is you we don't know, but we it, it sounds kind of like these are Niners talking points. And what's unfortunate, if that's the case, like Schefter, the whole idea is he's supposed to be the impartial insider, the guy who talks to all the teams and all the agents and gets all the information and sort of figures out the truth or the closest thing to it. And if he just like talks to someone in the Niners one day and says like, okay, well, they gave me some information. I'm not going to cross reference it. They want, it's like, from our perspective, it's the Niners are clearly trying to pump up Jimmy Garoppolo's value. And let's say it's John Lynch. Cause it sounds like something he would say. I, I'm not saying it is. It just, uh, we watched the tape. We just didn't re- we, once we got a little distance, we sat back, watched the tape, and we were like, doggone it. <laughs> really? I, I can see John saying it. I can't see Adam Schefter believing it, but he runs with it. Uh, I, maybe he's hearing this from multiple sources, but it doesn't seem likely uh, that the Niners – I mean, like, as you said, they watched film after every game. So they had – they were, like, being really hard on him, but then they took a couple of months and watched film again. They're like, you know what? He was great last year. Yeah. Let's trade him. No, it yeah. doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make sense. And, you know, there's a couple of different reports where they're – it seems like they're almost trying to build up Trey so high so that they can justify why they have to trade Jimmy. Like, oh, Jimmy's fantastic, but Trey's just better. But yeah. Jimmy is amazing. Uh, they're playing this weird game, you know, and, and I wrote that article for you about um, how they're, they're, they're really bad at playing poker. Yeah. Uh, and and that's what this just seems more of that. Obviously, Schefter said that this came from the 49ers, right? So this is something the 49ers chose to tell him, and the timing of it sure. just kind of makes everything crazy for me. Yeah, it's like okay, the Niners told you, man, we watched the film, uh, it blew us away how much better <laughs> he was the second time around. And Schefter is yeah. like, cool, that checks out. Uh, there's no ulterior motive here. There's no possible other reason that they would be saying this to me other than to just say, yeah, you know, Jimmy was great. Did you know? By the way, come on, Adam. You've been doing this since before I was born. You should know. And I, I don't know. Anyway, so that maybe I'm not mad at Adam Schefter because honestly, if I got a nugget, maybe I just put it out there. But it just made me giggle like, Adam, you know better. We all know better. But good effort on the Niners part. This is the pump and dump. And they have been trying for years to make it seem like even though it's it's a – Weird balance they try to strike. We don't want Jimmy, but we love him. It's like, right. No, you don't. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't jive. And you know, Schefter, he's an insider, so I think uh, there's a little bit of a give and trade when you're an insider. Um, in order to have those relationships, and in order for those people to trust you and to can you continue to reach out, you kind of have to uh, play the role and, and do what they want from time to time.
I, I, that's the perfect way to end this segment. I think that's what you see, not just from him, but from people at NFL Network. I'm not going to call people out by name and stuff, but I think what you see is there's a reason why the same people get the same get the scoops right. because they're not questioning the scoops that they get. It's not like, hey man, you're just trying to pump up Jimmy Grass. Hey, thank you for coming to me <laughs> and not the guy at NFL Network, right? And I'm going to say it, and I'm, and I'm not going to put any type of spin on it or any type of analysis, even though privately I know exactly what the hell's going on. So thank you. And let's keep doing business. Yeah. Let's keep this relationship as is. Yeah. Right. I'm, yeah. I'm so surprised that these agents don't call, uh, call me to break these stories because I'm <laughs> right in their pocket. You know, I'm easy to control. <laughs> right. Yeah. I can see that. The big Tim three says, Grant, I came across an IG page strictly about Jimmy. An artist draws a portrait of Jimmy Garoppolo every day until he's traded. It's hilarious. I instantly thought of you, LOL. It's Rita Oak art. Uh, check it out. Yeah, isn't she like, I think she's in Argentina. I could be wrong. Uh, Something like just, that. You post it on Twitter every day and they're great, but um, she always gets Jimmy G trending. And then I click on it thinking that there's going to be new information about maybe a trade and it's a new picture of him. And I'm like, no, it's like getting Rick yes. but she does good a good part. job. And then a couple of days ago, the best one yet was like the South Park one. And she had George Kittle as Cartman. And then Kittle <laughs> made that his profile picture, which was, you know, fair play. But man, I hate yeah. you. I love what she's doing. I wonder if she knew how much of a commitment this was going to be when she started, but it, it's uh, definitely worked out well for her. You know, That's true. But maybe she just meant to do like 30 of them and then it became viral. And now she's like, it, it could be another 100 days. Who knows?